let me show you how to set up and pair your Philips with lights with your smartphone so you can control them and do all kinds of cool stuff. First go to your Play Store or Apple Store basically and download this Viz connected app. Simply search for this app and basically download it. Then let's open it up. Click get started. Agree to pretty much all the terms. Okay. Either select sign up or you can also click maybe later. You can use it without account. You can also click this. So you don't really need that stuff. You can click whatever you want, which team basically. Okay. Done. And next you need to basically create a new home. And basically enter something. Next add rooms basically where you will install these lights. So select first room basically. Just set up something. Okay, now it's time to add the light itself. Okay, next plug in your light basically and turn it on. Okay, click start setup. Okay, make sure to allow all these things and to be able to find the slides. Click next. Make sure to allow this. Okay. Then select your device tape if you want. Select your room. Next, make sure you are actually connected to your Wi Fi and this needs to run at 2.4 gigahertz. If you currently don't have it running at this frequency, you can also go to your settings and change this uh, like uh, frequency. Okay, then I'm connected. Enter your Wi Fi network password. Click next. Select which if your device is used or new. Then we will do a smart pairing basically. So you have to switch off your light and wait for 5 seconds. Let's do that and wait for 5 seconds. Okay, let's turn it back on and press start. And it will try to search for device. This might take some time. And if you have many lights connecting at the same time, again, it might take even longer. Okay, shows it's connecting to something. Let's see. And it found the light here. So it's okay. And we can click done. Click on the light, select any icons or any, you can set name for a light even. You can also set up this power switch basically. Uh, you can also control basically this light by simply turning it on and off rapidly. So you can switch between these two different modes that you want. Or white or simply white. Okay, next. Then also you can adjust your fade settings. I like to set this to zero seconds basically. So it's instantly, it changes the color instantly and everything is fast. Okay, and that's all done. Also when setting up these lights, you can also do this manual pairing if it doesn't work as for that basically. So click this manual pairing and basically what we need to do is we have to keep switching on and off the light till it keeps blinking in a like blue mode. So basically keep switching it on and off. And as you see, it finally started to get in this glow mode basically. And it should find your light now. Also when you manually try to connect uh, to these lights, it might ask for to scan QR code. And that is located over here basically. You have to scan this QR code when it asks. Also, if you can scan QR code, basically you can enter this digit here. And these are unique for each light. So this is the app basically. And you can click on your home, then on your room basically. And in your room select the light you want to control basically. You can click on it to get more like stuff here. You can adjust the colors here, for example, to different shades basically. Daylight, cold white. Then you can turn on the night light. Also set dynamic color changing and custom colors as well. So you can set up any light you want basically here. And if you are still having problems connecting these Philips Viz lights, as sometimes they are quite fussy actually, and sometimes I have experienced it that you do not get perfect connection. 
can basically go to your phone and play around with your Wi-Fi settings and turn it on and off basically. Also Bluetooth, same, turn on and off basically. Also what you can do is restart your phone and maybe perhaps uninstall that app and install it back again. There are tons of like gremlins basically in this app and it's uh, kind of laggy basically. So yep, it's not the best app really and it's sluggish, laggy and sometimes it fails to connect and yeah, it controls aren't the best really and I'm not very impressed with this app itself and I think that Hue light uh, basically are better than these Viz lights when it comes to the app. The bulbs itself are great, but the app really sucks and often people get a lot of connection problems. Anyway, if this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe because I have plenty more uh, videos coming soon about this light. See you!